How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Soto. Welcome back to another episode of the Persia campaign. This is Persia, where we are trying to get a good start going. I think we do have a good start going here, relatively speaking. Uh, manpower could be better, but, you know, that's to be expected at the start of the game. We're coring stuff up here. Um, we don't have anything to give the merchants, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Um, let's give the emirs this province, actually. Be, I think they're, it's going to be good to get them up, so we can do stuff like that. How is the general? He's alright, he's got siege. Should have fire at this point in the game, not great, but uh, it's better to have shock. But it's alright. It's really not bad. So Jilan, we rivaled, because why not? They're allied to Kara, but like, that's fine. We can wait for an opportunity and strike. Um, Shravan has no forts except a uh, drylands. I was going to say highlands, but it's drylands. So that's good. I think we want to do this war with uh, with Shravan soon. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good opportunity. Um, let's see here. Armies, rivals. Oh man, Ajam actually is not that strong right now. They have a high force limit, but they have no manpower. Uh, I mean, it, it makes sense. They actually got a lot of land taken, or they well, and more. They just got beat up, but they do have vassals. Still not a viable target, unless we can get the um, unless we can get Kara join, which we could. Hmm. It'd be certainly good to get this stuff early on, but uh, I think we wait. I think we hold off a little longer. Um. I didn't even look at what I meant to look at. So Shravan, they have six thousand troops. That's not that bad. Their and their ma max is not that high, so. Um, I don't even have a claim here. Let's, let's get a claim there first. All right, we should be able to get Gazakamuk loyal. It's just gonna take a sec. Renaissance, two years late. <laughs> Alright, yeah, well, I think this is fine. I wonder who Kara's about to clear on. Looks like they're lining up with a Jean. <gasps> they, oh, okay, they're doing it. Also, there, there are Ardabili Separatists here. Hold on. So here's what we do. We accept, obviously. But uh, I want to set all this state. And I don't think that they have any issues giving us it. Because they're probably already were planning to give us these two, so. Um, yeah, dude, I will... Obviously, join this one. If oh, Car is declaring it, you know, sure. I would have liked to be the war leader, so I got to determine what we get. But uh, I'm I'm absolutely fine with this war. All right, this is gonna put things uh, in a little bit of a weird spot for a second. That's okay. Um, this is being sieged. Okay, don't do that then. Don't split up. Here's what we do. We go down here. Should not be on speed five when we're at war with a larger power. <laughs> Um, siege this down. Okay, looks like they might be coming back. I'm actually gonna leave. Seems like a risky spot to be in. All right, now I'll go back because now they're they're over here. I'm uh, I'm gonna risk this. Yeah, they're going down there. So all right, so this should be fine. You better uh, transfer that to me. Gosh darn it, my rebels are gonna... I wish I could coordinate with my rebels. Take control of them, you know? That's fine. Uh... Um, let's see. This is actually a really good province. I didn't even realize that. It's 10 development, which means we can do this. Yay! All right, um, that and that. There we go, beautiful. Not like a crucial thing to do, but still good. Okay, um, <clears throat> high income, I just will do that now, because I just, you know, I don't know. They better transfer this occupation. They did, look at that. I don't even know what they want to take. I mean, I guess stuff in the south, you know, like one province. I'm glad they're they're willing to do this for one province, because it benefits me disproportionately. I 
That was brutal. So I'm gonna just leave a token force and just to keep the occupation in my name. If they give us all this land, I'm gonna be so happy. And like we're getting a decent amount of occupation. So even if they were a pessimist or you know, if even if they were like trying to give me the bare minimum I deserve, we're still we're we're earning our a fair sheep. A fair sheep, yes, a fair sheep. A fair share or fair keep. I said sheep. Um, uh oh. That's kind of bullshit, dude. You just walk through your fort zone. Alright, that's that's cool, I guess. I guess that's cool. Screw you. If you didn't know, the game tells you you can retreat on one day, and you can actually retreat a day before that. Um, I'll show you next time we're in a battle. It's weird. I'm not sure why it lies, but you know, it does. Um, anyways. I wonder if I could actually just piece out separately for everything I want. Mm, it's within the realm of possibility, but not right now. I think more likely we're just gonna they're just gonna peace out soon. Our many separatists, that's good. If we get our many to pop out, that'd be beautiful. I doubt they will, but you know. I wanna I'm gonna take my army and go hide hide in the desert outside of Baghdad. And they're just sieging up here, that's beautiful. If nothing else, Gazakabuk is a good distraction. <laughs> I don't want to lose this siege, but there's not much I can do about it. The Duke of Burgundy got, wow. Burgundian inheritance. I haven't actually seen a Burgundian inheritance in a long time. It feels like it's less likely nowadays. Um, and this early on, hmm. So Austria and France split it, as is normal, so. Interesting, interesting. That'll maybe affect us. Austria might be an ally at some point against like the Ottomans and stuff. Certainly is a possibility. So having a strong Austria might be good. Even though that's way down the road, it still could be an effect. If they go fight these rebels, I will help them. Ah, darn. Actually, not too far from getting everything we want. Um, question is, do we want to... Is that... I think we lose like 10 trust or something like that. It's, it's a bit of a risky option. It lowers trust by ten. It's a big deal. I think it's better just to let them, to to let them give us what they're gonna give us. You know, keeping Kara happy with us early on, I think is our best strategy. I normally don't like to have to rely on allies. Normally, I just backstab. But Kara's too big to us for us to backstab. It's, it's not viable to do that in this case. Not viable. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, I should have been. If I was smart, if I was smart, I would have been. Would have been doing this earlier. If the war ends, it's we're not going to be able to do it. But if we if we are able to get a claim in time, might be able to. Uh, oh gosh, might be able to conquer Jilan real quick. We'll just unity. Oy. that's rough. That's a lot of manpower, dude. These rebels are probably gonna prolong the war a little bit, so um, although the rebels here are gonna probably make the war end sooner, so. Uh, <laughs> well, that's rough. I hope these Armenian separatists pop out. That'd be beautiful. I'll try to like conquer them or vassalize them or something. Hmm. Oh, part of the reason we're probably not out of the war yet is because uh, I've occupied the capital. Uh, maybe it's worth it to try and do a separate piece. I don't know, man. No, again, I, I think it's too risky. I think it's too risky. Money's in a good spot for being our, with our maintenance up and everything. Having two cavalry as part of our army. It's not bad. Let's just go and seed five because we're just I mean, we're just waiting. Oh, 
Oh, that's rough, man. I mean, it's good for me, but it's rough for Kara. Please. All right, we can do it. We can do it, boys. Hold on. Go, go, go. Yes. So it's grasslands too. Perfect. Ah, <laughs> uh, siege general, whatever. No, no. Plus, our, we don't want to want to have our ruler on out on the field. We don't have to. You beautiful. Easy money. Easy money. Okay. Beautiful. So we got some good stuff going on here. Manpower's not doing so hot, but you know. <laughs> what do you expect? We need to make sure that we we do need to make sure, absolutely sure that we have this stuff occupied so they're more likely to give it to us. I think you can still return cores even if rebels occupy it, but uh, I don't want to risk that. Please don't come attack me. Please just... Oh, they wouldn't attack me yet. Yeah. Oh, they're not going down here anyways. Beautiful. Um, sure, that's fine. Government reform. Beautiful. Um, national tax or national manpower. I think... Um, I like both of these. What's going to be more of an issue long term? I think manpower probably. Well, I don't know. We have a... Once we form Persia, we're going to have a very defensive position. Ours influence down is good. Like, this is all good. Don't get me wrong. I think we're going to do this. Um, I don't know, though. Because money is not going to be an issue long term, I don't think, either. So, you know, I'm going to do manpower. Um, this is something I haven't even mentioned. I meant to talk about this in the first episode. But we actually have a really good idea set. Our ability ideas are, are wonderful. Um, we start with manpower modifier and manpower recovery suit, which is insanely good. And then we get morale of armies right off the bat. We get cavalry combat ability. Tons of true faith, eh, whatever. That's good. Mystery strike versus heretics, really good. Uh, and that'll be good whether or not we stay as cop or as Shia or go Coptic, right? Because Coptic will be conquering Orthodox land and stuff. Um, it won't be as good, but... Uh, It'll be better as, as Shia if we stay Shia, but still, either way, it'll be good. I mean, I'm still curious to know what you guys think. Spine network construction is fine. The other stuff is fine. That first half is pretty. It's loaded in the first half. A lot of good stuff. I don't think we should do that. That's a bad idea. Um, okay, another province. To add to our empire. <laughs> Looks like there's gonna be rebels here. Okay. Give me my cores back, man, please, I beg of you. How have they not pieced out yet? I can't believe this car is like they're just like shit in the bed right now. <laughs> Iraqi separatists. I mean maybe they'll collapse, which would not be bad for me. It certainly wouldn't be bad. we just maybe we do just peace out shit man you know what? I think we should peace out because otherwise they're gonna take a deal that's not as good for us take all this stuff we could probably even take more stuff oh well, no that's about it okay so that's I mean that's good that's what we want is it worth risking pissing off car well cars not in a good spot right now anyway so I think so. Let's let's do it. I mean, I got a mountain fort of that too. You know, or no, oh, it's drylands. Of course, it's not in the mountains right next next to it. Um, I think that's a, a, a beautiful piece that we've got, we've taken there. It's in, it's not in the best spot in regards to uh, a diplomatic move, but <laughs> I think it's still fine. I think it was necessary. It was a necessary evil. Hmm. Sure. I'll give you guys access. Because I do feel bad. Uh, stability and extension. Okay. Well, we want to deal with those things. We do. We do. How many separatists are going to be here? 10k. That's fine. We can handle that. Mm, 
Okay, we are actually almost at, uh, hold on. Let's look at that. But then I also want to, who's our rivals? Can rival Merzanger, I obviously want to do that. Like, we can get pretty easily over here. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Peasants are being an option on the table here, but uh, well, I mean, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make sure we're improving with our allies. We have two allies, and they're they're both pretty decent in size. Lower maintenance for now. We will raise this once our overextension goes down. So once we're done, because it's a uh, it's a good ways away. We should be fine for that. Uh, the rebels, Shami separatists. We really want to build a mountain fort at some point, or move. You know, we want to move our fort around at some point because right now this is like really bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Coruscant. Looks like they've declared on Zenran. They are independent now, by the way. Transoxian as well. Afghanistan as well. Okay, well, so the Timurids... Actually, I think Afghanistan maybe starts independent. I remember. I don't remember. But it uh, seems like the Timurids are losing their their stuff. Which is good. Um, Armenia separatists are still going strong, and I love that. Armenia is probably going to pop out here. It's an independent country. If they do, we want to be ready to hop on it. Anyhow, hmm. Probably vassalize them if anything. Um. Let's see. I think we should just eat this land directly. Shia. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. Um, if we have an uh, opportunity. Okay, Azerbaijan is promoted. Uh, is stated, actually, rather. And that's a good state, you know? It's not, like, the best one, but it's, uh... It's, uh... Certainly fine. Let's raise our stability. Georgia Crown Shravan. All right, so this is unfortunate. It's unfortunate because I wanted to be the one to do that, but uh, it is what it is. Let's we can still take advantage of this. We already had that guy in charge. All right, here's what we do. We we wait and we need to go to war. Darn it, they got there like right before me too. Well, that's fine. This is gonna suck. They're probably gonna take more than just uh, the one province too. So that's really unfortunate. But uh, at the very least, mm, whatever. It is what it is. The other thing was try to get this. We're certainly in an all right position here, you know? So there it goes. So they didn't take everything, but they took a bit, you know, enough to be annoying. That's for sure. But uh, we're gonna get the Shravan is the is the most most important province for sure. So I, I don't it's not like a huge deal. And it does let us get to war with Georgia, but we we could already do that though. Oh, hold on, One sec. I apologize.
Okay, I apologize, but I'm going to wrap up this episode. Actually, the timer just went off, so I apologize. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I'm sorry for the interruption at the end. And we'll go ahead and get going next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.